The story of ISRO's origin goes way back to the time of Dr. Vikram Sarabhai, the brainchild of the space agency. ISRO's Chandrayaan-3 mission aims to achieve the feat of conducting a soft landing on the moon's southern pole. After its successful launch, ISRO's role in carrying it through has seen great appreciation as well. In fact, it has become a matter of national pride. A lot of its current success has linkages to its past history. Here's where it all began. India's space industry history reflects how little by little institutions around space exploration and research were set up and expanded. From Fishing Hamlet to Red Planet, India's space journey by Indian scientist T.V. Chitnis recounted those involved in this journey. The first such organization was the Physical Research Laboratory set up in Ahmedabad, Gujarat. Vikram Sarabhai alongside a few scientists worked here but lacked adequate funds. The author of the book recalls putting together two boxes and an asbestos sheet as his work table. However, Sarabhai was able to secure some resources from both the USSR and the US despite Cold War tensions. His effort paid off as an American-sounding small rocket called Nike Apache took off from Thamba, a fishing hamlet near Trivandrum, Kerala. This place met certain criteria such as being at the magnetic equator which eased the process of the rocket's launch. Sounding rockets are solid propellant rockets used for upper atmospheric exploration and space research. They are also cost-effective platforms for testing prototypes of components used in launch vehicles and satellites. Chitnis, the author of the book, also added that in the land acquired, the only recent building available was one St. Maglin church. The church soon became their workshop while Bishop's house became their office. Later, that building would be converted into Vikram Sarabhai Space Center Space Museum in 1985. In 1962, Nehru and Sarabhai established the Indian National Committee for Space Research. It was an autonomous body that was a part of the Department of Atomic Energy, then headed by the pioneering Indian scientist Homi J. Bhabha. The Indian National Committee for Space Research grew to become the Indian Space Research Organization in 1969. Eventually, ISRO's establishment and the formation of India's dedicated Department of Space in 1972 boosted space research and execution in India. ISRO was subsequently placed under the DOS. ISRO now has its headquarters in Bengaluru. Its activities are spread across various centres and units. Launch vehicles are built at Vikram Sarabhai Space Centre in Tiruvananthapuram, while satellites are designed and developed at UR Rao Satellite Centre in Bengaluru. Integration and launching of satellites and launch vehicles are carried out from Satish Dhawan Space. Chandrayaan-3 will take approximately 42 days to reach the moon. Should it conduct a successful landing, India will become only the fourth country after the United States, Russia and China.